What's up everybody? It's Gabby from Chill On Top. Bet you guys are wondering why Robin and I aren't doing this reaction together for BTS. If you guys follow us on Twitter or Tumblr, you know we are deep in the trash fan, like Bin, or this group. She beat me to it because I was dizzy yesterday, kind of avoiding this like a plague and didn't want to watch this whatsoever. But I put on my big girl panties and I am doing it today. I had to pretty much avoid all social media, like, apps all yesterday, just so I wouldn't see spoilers or anything. That means I have to stay off, like, my Tumblr, my Twitter, even Facebook, which I hardly ever fucking go on, but there was stuff there, too. Um, I am super psyched and ready for this comeback. Like, I've been waiting for this when they still supposed to be out in October. And then they pushed it to November and then December. But you know, it is what it is. I'm very happy that the boys are having this comeback and going along with this um, Move for Love series. And I am so excited. Like the, um, the prologue and whatnot video. I love the concept that we're going with who's alive, who's dead. Pretty sure Jin is the one that is dead, maybe, but then I'm not sure because you know everyone else blew up or died or OD'd in the middle of a bridge. Like, I don't know. So I'm happy to see where this music video takes me. Robin said it is seven minutes and 31 seconds long. That's a lot to take in, and I'm like super excited, but also really fucking scared. Um, also guys, just to remind you, I will leave an annotation for her reaction video right over here. So if you'd like to see her, Robin's reaction to it, just go ahead and click that link. Um, I really don't want to start this, guys. Like, I, like, I realized not too long ago that the 900 days thing with BTS had, like, came and gone. And I feel really gross because pretty much been there with BTS for that long. And that's really sad. Like, I didn't think I'd be dedicated to a rookie group like, like BTS because the whole, like, oh, them trying to be, like, K-pop D-boys or whatever. I was just like, uh, I'm not probably going to like this concept. And, you know, how Namjoon with his problematic ass. I thought I was going to drop this group, but then our Lord and Savior rap god Min Yoon Gi came and took me up into his arms and embraced me, and now I'm kind of stuck with the group. Um, but yeah, enough of my rambling. <laughs> Let me just get into this video, guys. Ah, God, I don't want to do this. <laughs> Oh god, he looks really good. I hate Namjoon. He looks kind of good. Oh, I have the lollipop cigarette thing. I can't. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> I've seen people do that with coffee, though. It's gross. That's so gross. Oh. Oh, for god's sakes, I can't do this. Oh. Are we staying in the tree? Oh god. What 
What are you doing? What are you doing? What what the fuck are you doing? Um Um G Min I don't understand. I don't understand. So like so I don't understand. So are, are they dead or otherwise accounted for? Like what? <laughs> I think this video was like super fucking cute and it was very like fun compared to I need you. This gave me like I don't know, like, like, Lost Boy vibes, where, like, I don't know, Neverland, that's just me, though, I, I like it, but I'm so confused, I have more questions, like, like, what does that mean, by Jimin, um, burning the picture, does that mean he's the one alive, or is it just that he's burning the photo of them in the truck, because he's dead and Jin's alive and he's trying to break connection with them. Like, I don't know, guys. There's, I just, there's a lot of stuff, uh, theory wise, that I could go with this. But other than that, I do give the video like two thumbs up. It's really nice. The song is beautiful. I cannot wait to do a first listen when I get home tonight because. I feel like this album is going to be really fucking good and I'm not going to be like ready for it. I actually, I honestly, I feel like I'm not going to be like do a first listen because I'm like super excited about this comeback and I've been like waiting for this album and I know like House of Cards is on here and when I heard it in the prologue, like nah, I need it to, I need to fucking listen to that song so... I probably won't do a first listen, and I know for sure Robin didn't do one because she told me she was crying while listening to this, and it was too much. Uh, Y'all go check her Twitter out for her reaction to the album. Um, it was pretty hilarious once I got a chance to read everything. Um, but yeah, I I really I really like this. Um, it gave me more like Neverland Lost Boys type of feel. Like it was very like, carefree voice. Like I I liked it. And then of course like Sugar looks so good, y'all. I I didn't know I needed this mint hair. Like this is like my second, my ultimate went mint, and I was just like, why? But then after a while, I was like, yes, and then he went mint, and then I was just like, yes. So, I'm here for mint-haired rapper, rappers in the groups, okay? Like, I, I really like this, though. Um, but, yeah, two thumbs up. Beautiful story concept we got going on here. Um, I'm adoring this. Um, I really hope this continues probably not with part three but like some form of closure i i just need some closure on this because i don't know what like what what what's going on like is is jen alive i feel like he's alive but then again i don't like i feel like he might be dead or something i mean because like the way he was acting in, in the video but Enough about that, I will post my, like, theories and shit on my Twitter and possibly Tumblr if I do get time, but in the meantime, in between time, I will catch you guys later. Alright, bye. <laughs>